and welcome to Cooking with Miss Rice. Today we're going to be making some biscuits. I, the best thing about these biscuits, because you know sometimes you only want like two and then you end up with a dozen and a half. What are you going to do with those biscuits? This recipe is great for freezing. All you have to do is bake them in the oven at 425 degrees later. So first we're going to take our dry mixture here. It is two cups of flour, two teaspoons of sugar, two and a half teaspoons of baking powder, and one quarter teaspoon baking soda to get all that leavening action. We're just going to pour that in here. I'm going to go ahead and mix it around. Now I'm wearing gloves, so I kind of like to just go ahead and get my hands down and dirty in this. It makes my life easier, I feel. Next we're going to put in six tablespoons of butter and sticking to the plate a bit. There we go. And first I'm going to cover the butter a little bit and then I'm going to start kneading it in. Now some people like to use a cutter, others like to use a fork. Again, I am a big, big, big fan of just using my fingers, just getting in there. And when you're wearing gloves that you can get at the grocery store easy peasy, well, that just makes life easy. Okay, so you're kind of going till the butter is nice and crumbly throughout the mixture. Next, we're going to make a little well in the middle. And we're going to pour 3 quarters cup buttermilk. You heard me, buttermilk. This stuff is sour as all get out. It's practically yogurt waiting to happen. But when it comes to biscuits, cannot be beat. Now you're just going to kind of dump all the dry stuff in the wet and slowly mix it around. And don't worry if it smells a little sour, it's supposed to smell sour. It's what gives it that awesome taste. Now, the cool thing is with the acidity in the buttermilk is something that allows it to really help get all fluffy. If you do not have buttermilk or you're not willing to buy buttermilk, um, one thing you can definitely do is take and go and put a little bit of vinegar inside of regular milk, preferably whole, and it sours the milk the same and gives you a very similar flavor. I do find that the actual buttermilk works a lot better though. Okay, so y'all have seen I've gently folded this and pressed it down. I like to do about three, four times. And then we have this nice bit of dough here. I'm gonna go ahead and get these other bits patted in there. Now, I'm going to take my cutting board. No, it's not really used for fish. It's just the picture on there. And I'm going to take my rolling pin. I'm going to roll it out till this is about half an inch thick. There we go. Now, in this case, I think today I'm going to make little rectangles. Uh, not everybody happens to have circle cookie cutters, but you can take circle cookie cutters and do this. But this way I just end up with something nice and even. Now, the kneading motion we did earlier has helped ensure a nice flaky crust, but you don't want to do it too much or it ends up very tough. I'm going to reach into my drawer, pull out any old knife, and I'm just going to cut this like so. Drag it along there. This, this is really so easy. Everybody's always like, Oh, do biscuits from a pan can, it's so much easier. And I guess maybe it technically is because you don't have to have the ingredients on hand. But really, biscuits are not something that's difficult. And there we go. Now, if I want to freeze these, I just put this on a parchment paper, lay in the freezer, preferably a deep freeze. Let it freeze completely after over the course of a couple hours. And then just go from there. However... I've decided I want some late night biscuits. So let's go ahead and put them on a cookie sheet over here. And I will put them in the oven at 425 degrees. And we'll do a little bit of magic to make it cook right before your eyes. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so now we have our delicious biscuits. And these are still a little hot for me to pick up on my own, but you'll see you have a nice light brown coloring. You'll see, let me pick them up with tongs. We have a lovely little golden brown bottom there. And 
you know what, I don't think I can quite wait for this. I'm gonna get a fork and I'm gonna just break it open there for you. And just use the tongs to hold it. These literally came right out of the oven just now. Oh, look at that. Look how tasty and fluffy it is. You can just kind of see the layers. I can just peel it off. Oh my gosh, that is so good. All right, everybody. So until next time, happy cooking.